Oh yes, today we're gonna compare Victoria Beckham Beauty eyewear eyeshadow sticks versus the new Hourglass Bonjour eyeshadow sticks, all the shades. Your wish is my command. Many of you, when I uploaded my video swatching all the Hourglass Bonjour eyeshadow sticks, yes, all seven different shades, were asking me not only on that video, but also on Instagram, if I was gonna compare them with the new Victoria Beckham Beauty eyewear eyeshadow sticks. And yes, yes, I'm here to compare both of the formulations. I was so kindly gifted the entire collection of the eyeshadow sticks by Victoria Beckham Beauty. So thank you so much to Victoria Beckham Beauty and your team for sending this over to me. This video is not a sponsor, it's not in partnership. There was no promise that I was gonna do this video either, but I thought, hey, you know what? My followers, they wanna see the comparisons between the Hourglass eyeshadow sticks, which I bought them myself with these ones from Victoria Beckham Beauty because there's few similarities in terms of price. They both cost $34. They are long wearing for up to eight hours and they both launched seven shades. But there are a few differences. Like for example, Hourglass, they are made in USA. Victoria Beckham Beauty, they are made in Italy. These ones by Victoria Beckham Beauty, they have a shelf life of 18 months. The ones from Hourglass, they have a shelf life of 12 months. Not only that, but Victoria Beckham Beauty, this first launch offers you some metallic slash shimmer finishes as well as matte finishes while hourglass this first launch is only metallic finishes and i am just so excited look at this beautiful box from victoria beckham beauty i mean you can see right here the design and by the way if you're new here to my channel welcome welcome to all of you my dear friends i do film in natural light i'm using a 4k camera i have a real light not pointing to my face but actually pointing towards the ceiling and wall because it is a gloomy rainy day and i have on this side right here my window so pretty much it's all natural light with the exception of whatever is bouncing from that side but it's not directly facing towards me i just want to mention that because i know although lighting now a days they are very close to natural light i know a lot of you my subscribers you're used for me to just film in natural light and at a point in time i will switch the camera on this side so that way you can see me direct with just sunlight quote unquote <laughs> you know it's daylight what is coming from these big windows but this side of my room it just gets so dark immediately anyhow friends so what i was telling you is i love this box right here now i'm sure when you buy them individually by the way i will leave all the details where to find all these products on the description box below as well as the rest of my makeup my blush bronzer etc but i'm sure that the victoria beckham beauty eyewear eyeshadow sticks they come individually wrapped but obviously because i get a pr package um <laughs> they came like this all of the shades oh my gosh i'm just so beyond excited and right here i have a little bit of information of each of the shades it says right here this eyewear is housed in a slim and easy to use eyeshadow stick made from 100 percent PCR plastic and 50% PCR aluminum, ultra long wear, crease proof, fade proof, blendable, smash proof, supremely creamy application. Okay, I love this. <laughs> this is so, so exciting. Packaging is so beautiful. This is the shade caramel. As you can tell, it has a little kind of like um, color code that it will tell you what is the shape for example if you only like to use this type of eyeshadow sticks maybe easier for you to locate the shape because you have that little strip but the shade caramel is described as a shimmering bronze oh my gosh i'm just so excited and these ones are twist up and they are also retractable so that's really really good let's go ahead and swatch it right over here just gonna do a side swatch oh that's so pretty <laughs> Oh my, that's beautiful. Sunflower, a mustard yellow. This is so exciting. It's very different to see these kind of tones and then like yellow. Trench, a matte beige, which these can serve as a base. 
and that's a beautiful shade. Battle Green, a shimmering, deep khaki green. And one thing with Victoria Beckham Beauty is that she knows how to do greens beautifully. Like, she has so many different greens. And you know what? All of these shades really speak to me because I feel that this comes with the background of Victoria Beckham herself because she's a designer. Pecan, a matte deep brown. Oh, that's gorgeous too. That's pecan. We have oyster, a shimmery pearl. Oh, I love this shade too. You know what I'm noticing too is that all of the shades are leaning more cool tone. And if they are not a cool tone, they are at least neutral, which on the neutrality means that it will cater to, I don't want to say every skin tone, but most skin tones. Okay, and then the last one, which I'm very excited for this shade. I don't see it very often on these type of eyeshadow sticks. And it is the shade Macaron, which is a matte lilac tone. And I know a lot of people from the images, the promo images, it looks like a pinky tone. But yeah, that, oh, oh, yeah, I'm telling you, <laughs> it's a beautiful lilac. Mmm, so pretty. So, so pretty. Okay, done with the swatches for the Victoria Beckham Beauty. Yes, we will be applying it on the eyelids. That's why you see me with nothing. But now I want to swatch them side by side with the ones from Hourglass. And I have all seven different shades at the bottom of the sticks. Basically, you have them color-coded, the name is in there too, they are also retractable, their individual casing, it is the gold one, which it goes with the entire line of Hourglass. Now, for this cool tone shade, none of these are very much alike. I'm just going to try to pair them as close as possible. I'm going to go first with Equinox. Again, same thing, you can twist and then you can retract. The first shade is Equinox. Right away, I can tell you that the formulation from Hourglass is a little bit thinner, more buildable, while the ones from Victoria Beckham Beauty, immediately you get payoff. Like, yes, you can build them, but immediately you get that payoff. While from Hourglass, you get the payoff, but you can build it and work in layers too. Equinox is also described as a warm taupe. Solstice is a metallic bronze shade, right here, right next to this yellow tone. Phoenix is described as a warm copper. Aurora is described as an olive green. And this is more of your typical green tone. Moon, a pale champagne. Galaxy, a metallic plum. Oh, that's so pretty. I love this type of shade. It reminds me to my beloved Pangeline by Chantecai. Is that single eyeshadow though. And last is Prism, a cool rose gold. I feel that in general, and here you can tell that the formulation of Victoria Beckham Beauty is not heavy, but it's a little bit more dense. It does have more substance. Well, the ones from Hourglass are a little bit thinner. I think the only two shades from all of these eyeshadow sticks that look a little bit alike in terms of just the tone, but not really on the finish, on, I, I don't even think on the outcome, are the shades Equinox by Hourglass and Caramel by Victoria Beckham Beauty. So I'm gonna apply them 
on each of my eyelids and then I'm gonna do a eyeshadow look with using a combination of these shades. Let's go first with Equinox by Hourglass and I'm gonna first apply it just directly on the eyelids and then I'm gonna show you how fast I can work with this. Okay, so that is one thin layer. And I can build it up. And with these eyeshadows, I feel that definitely you can even use your fingers to apply them. Now, because of how thin these are, definitely I believe that these will be creaseless. Okay, that's a beautiful tone. Now, let's go for the shade Caramel by Victoria Beckham Beauty. That's a beautiful shade, but this one, you see, it's more neutral, even more cooler in tone. BK Beauty 205 brush, and I can definitely blend the one from Hourglass. BK Beauty 206 brush, and I'm blending the one from Victoria Beckham Beauty. I feel that the one from Victoria Beckham Beauty sets a lot faster than the one from Hourglass. In terms of finish for the metallic shade, I feel that they have a very similar finish. I feel that the consistency is a little bit different. This is a little bit thinner, the consistency, and perhaps this formula from Hourglass have a little bit more of emollients than the one from Victoria Beckham Beauty. Now that these are all set, let's see how budge proof they are. Look at the ones from Victoria Beckham Beauty. <laughs> they don't go anywhere. Okay, now let's try the ones from Hourglass. Same thing. Yeah, they are not a smearing. Let's see. I have pretty much the same amount of residue on my fingers for both of them. But as you can tell, they are batch proof. Let's see how easy these are to remove. And I'm using these simple kind to skim my cellar cleansing wipes. I picked up a pack at Target. <laughs> so these are really good if you have sensitive eyes. Okay. They are not super, super easy to remove. You want me to do kind of like a couple times. Okay, this one I really feel that they are not going anywhere. Okay. <laughs> Victoria Beckham Beauty. Do you see this difference? So this is going to be something that you have to think about the longevity of these eyeshadows. They both claim that they will last you for eight hours. I will be leaving a pink comment to let you know what I feel about these eyeshadows. I don't have really to go anywhere today, so I'm going to be staying at home, but I will be leaving these eyeshadows for the rest of the day. I'll let you know, like, if they faded and how much and if they crease or not and all of that so make sure that while you leave your comment and while you give a like to this video make sure that you check that pin comment of mine it took some time it's not leaving red my eyelids but it took more time for the victoria beckham beauty one to be removed the eyeshadow looks definitely they are not going to match but Okay, let's try to just have fun and do some fun here. I'm going to go with the shade Trench from Victoria Beckham Beauty. And this is kind of like a base kind of shade. Oh yeah, this is pretty much the color of my skin tone. I'm just going to apply a little. Honestly, I don't want to cancel absolutely everything. And let's see how these eyeshadows layer. I'm going to go with something fun, which is this shade called Sunflower. It's a yellow shade. Let's be adventurous. Let's play with makeup. And I'm going to take this shade and apply it on my crease. And then because I know that this one sets kind of right away, I'm going to go with a BK Beauty 205 brush. And I'm just going to blend, blend, blend as fast as I can. Oh, this blends beautifully. Kind of like a mastery yellow. Oh, that's so pretty. I'm sure this one with the copper tones are gonna it's gonna be really nice, but you know what? 
I'm here to play. So we will play. Then I'm going with that shade macaron, which is that lilac tone. You know how fun is this, huh? Something so different, unique too. And I'm just gonna take it middle to the outer third. And you know, these shades together kind of remind me a little bit too, that I'm gonna go with the BK Beauty 206 brush to the upcoming eyeshadow quad from Chanel and the one from Chantecai too for the springtime. Oh, these shades are so pretty. Let's go for Oyster and I'm gonna apply it on the mobile lead. Going next with the shade Pecan. And I'm just gonna take it right here on the outer third. Also, I'm lining my upper lash line. Hourglass in the shade Galaxy. I'm taking a little bit of the shade Phoenix. See how they lay. Just fine. Then Equinox, and I'm gonna use it on the very outer V. Going next with Prism, and I'm just gonna apply it right on the center to create a halo effect. Going with the shade Moon, and I'm gonna apply it on the inner corner with Equinox and I'm gonna take it on the lower lash line. I went ahead and applied some mascara, a little bit of eyeliner, and these are the two final looks. You have to tell me what you think about them. But right now I wanna make some comparisons with the Victoria Beckham eyewear eyeshadow sticks with the eyeshadow gels, which comes in satin shades and also jewel shades, which are those who have a little bit of kind of like shimmer in them so let's go ahead and start first with the green ones i have here the shade olive which is a true olive that's way way deeper second green one of my favorite shades is coco i <laughs> it's the one that i use so much and this is way, way deeper. Look at that. Jewel Eyeliner in Night Flash. And I'm just gonna compare it. Oh, no, this is black. <laughs> this is a black. I didn't even remember well, but there you have it. I have the Satin Kajal in Sea Gray. This one is more silvery, like gum metal. I mean, Victoria Beckham Beauty, she knows her shades so well. Oh, and then we have these gold ones here. Let's see. Let's do the bronze one. Satin Gajal Bronze. You know, friends, I do have all the lead lasters from Victoria Beckham Beauty since before I they sent anything to me. So I'm just gonna swatch a few that I feel that they may look alike to these shades. Definitely mink, let's try it. Although there's nothing as deep as this shade, but just want you to see it. Oh, that shade is just, oh, incredible. Let's go for chiffon. It's a little bit smoother too. I just feel that here what happened are that the shades are just all different. This is the thing, Victoria Beckham Beauty is not bringing any repetitions. So that's that. And then in terms of the ones from Hourglass, I was thinking about, I know um, Bobbi Brown has a collection of eyeshadow sticks. I just have gone through a declutter, so those are gone on my collection. And the only thing pretty much that survived the sticks is just this one by Laura Mercier in the shade nude rose this is gorgeous too and i'm just gonna swatch it below here this is a little bit more intense do you see that 
and compare this one to the Hourglass. And then I have here from Hourglass the shade Ray. I do have other shades, but I think this might be the only one that honestly I feel like I can swatch in. It will be something I like to some of these eyeshadows, if any. No, this one is warmer in turn. I'm just gonna go like this. <laughs> There you have it. All right, my friends, and now that I'm done with all the comparisons and applying these eyeshadows, what I think about these two formulations, I think they are different. And that's the great thing. They are completely different. I feel that Victoria Beckham Beauty, what she's bringing us is uniqueness. And that is something very particular about this brand. They are very unique in the shade selection. They are not common and it victoria beckham beauty honestly she's a little bit of a trendsetter in terms of i mean she's in the fashion world but i can see on her makeup on the selection of the shades from the lip lasters to the satin eye gels they are very unique and i'm not saying that impossible to do but just a little bit harder and i feel the same way with these eyewear eyeshadow sticks from the selections not only between matte finishes and metallic finishes but the shade selections themselves from the lilac the master tones which you may feel like oh those shades may, may be harder to work with but as you can tell they are not and it just caters for more not only skin tones but also a little bit of a different approach um different likes i'm thinking about lilac the yellow it could be perfect for spring summertime and all year round in general so that's that in terms of the victoria beckham beauty also the amount of pigment and the I don't want to say thick because they are not dense. I don't feel like I have any makeup on my eyelids. But just if I were to compare it with the hourglass, I feel that the hourglass, they do have a little bit more of quote-unquote translucency. They are not as full opacity, full payoff at first. You kind of have to swipe and swipe and swipe again. And then you start building up on that pigmentation. So obviously, the depending on your preference, how you like to work your eyeshadows, that will determine a lot which formula you like more. Both formulations are fantastic. The ones from Victoria Beckham Beauty, I can tell you without even making an eight hour wear test, but as I mentioned before, I will be leaving a pink comment letting you know how long they were. I can tell that the ones from Victoria Beckham Beauty are going to be really, truly, truly, truly long wearing. For the time that I have been using both of the formulas, Hourglass on this side, Victoria Beckham Beauty on this side, I do have a lot of folds on my eyelids. A lot, a lot of folds and they don't crease. They also do not emphasize texture and I love that. I love that because the least that I want is to have that um, aging kind of texturizing kind of formula. They don't have chunky glitters. They are super smooth, easy to apply. I like that retractable feature on them too. In terms of shades, I love all the shades. Obviously, the ones from Hourglass, they are not so unique. But you know what? At the end of the game, too, if you're not a person that is too adventurous and you know exactly which colors you like, then, you know, go for it. To me, the shade that is spectacular is Galaxy. It's a shade that has always attracted me. Obviously, this top shade, I don't remember right now. Is it a Phoenix? No, it's not Phoenix. Or is it Equinox? Ah, let's see. Is Equinox. It's also a toffee tone that it's one that a lot of people really enjoy. So to me, Equinox and then the shade Galaxy. Oh, they are just so yummy. The shade Moon is beautiful too. It's a very bright champagne shade, which is something that I gravitate towards a lot. Also, this rose gold shade is stunning as well. Um, one thing that I have to tell you, the hourglass eyeshadows, like I said, the, the Shades are very common. The ones from Victoria Beckham Beauty, they're not as common, but also they are very, even on the colorful shades, they are more neutral leaning. And just a couple, just one actually, cool tone, this kind of platinum kind of shade. But that is also very helpful because if you are either warm tone or a cool tone, 
because these eyeshadows lean so neutral, it will work for many skin tones. So that is a plus right there too. So anyhow, my friends, I think this is all the feedback that I can give you as of right now of these eyeshadows. Both formulations are beautiful. I think the great thing about them is that any of these eyeshadow sticks, you can just throw them inside your bag and, you know, just call it a day go or just take a couple they are not going to make a mess on your bag and you're just going to be able to take it on the go and then if you need to retouch or change a little bit your eyeshadow look that's another thing too they layer on top of each other really well so that is again another plus because you're not making a muddy mess and you're not losing the beauty of one eyeshadow over the other one because applying one on top of the other um a lot of people ask me about the Giorgio Armani I only have this liquid one, so I mean, I'm gonna swatch it right here. Yeah, I will say, if anything, obviously this is liquid, it's a very different, but the ones from Hourglass, it feels a lot like this formula in terms of like how soft it is, thin. I feel obviously the one from Giorgio Armani has more opacity, while the ones from Hourglass, you just, again, have to pass it a couple times. And another thing that I noticed too with the ones from Hourglass, is just that, just be careful because sometimes they can ball up a little, but that doesn't mean that it's extra product. You just need to use your finger or your brush to kind of disperse it. And there's obviously no fallout. Um, so yeah, very, very successful two eyeshadow formulas that are beautiful okay my friends and this makes it for this video i hope that you enjoyed it that you find it helpful informative i would love to hear from you are you excited for these single eyeshadows i think they are fun i think they just make it things less complicated <laughs> that's for sure so let me know which ones you're adding to your wish list or which ones you're adding to cart and check out or if you perhaps have already got some of these and you have tried them let's continue the conversation on the comment section down below while you're at it and if you have and then so yet I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel make sure you ring the post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads it will be amazing if you can come and follow me on my Instagram and TikTok <laughs> if you like this video then don't forget to give it a thumbs up also share with family and friends and until the next time I hope you have a beautiful wonderful day bye bye